All Hi. set to go, Jan. All ready to go, Peter. Whoa. <laughs> okay, got my sea legs. I'm looking for that bleached yeah. coral. Here I am. We're up in Townsville in northern Queensland. It's October the 3rd and we're going out to John Brewer Reef. That is the epicenter of all that mass bleaching we've always heard about, where the coral dies off, where it goes white. So we're heading out there today. I know it doesn't look that tropical, but we're up in the tropics. We're heading out, way out to John Brewer Reef. I'm with Dr. Peter Ridd, Dr. Jennifer Marahesi, and we're going to see just how much of that bleached coral we can actually find. Hey Rowan! Jennifer, great to see you. This is the boat we're going on. What are we hoping to find? John Brewer Reef was described as the center of the sixth mass coral bleaching. Right. That was 18 months ago. I want to show you a specific coral that actually went stark white 18 months ago. It did bleach. So okay. it'll be interesting to see if we can find the coral again and what colour it is. We're going now. out there into the ocean to find one bit of coral. That's right. <laughs> okay, can't the wait. The famous coral, <laughs> lucky the famous I, coral. Lucky I brought a snorkel. <laughs> G'day. How are you doing? Good to see you, how are you? Looking forward to this. Well, where's the sunlight? <laughs> Jennifer Marahesi is a biologist. The symbiotic algae, the zooxanthellae. Try it, zooxanthellae. zooxanthellae. Perfect. Sounds they like a dish in a Greek restaurant, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's visited John Brewer Reef five times in the last 18 months, since March 2022, when it was reported as bleached. Paul Krakome is a master scuba instructor, a master reef guide, and he'll be our skipper today. And what do we hope to see out there? What's well, we'll go back to that area, we'll see if we can find that particular coral. Uh, it is possible that it has, um, has died. So how do you find one piece of coral 80 kilometres out in the ocean. It's like a needle in a haystack, isn't it? Yes and no. Yeah, you get to know your dive sites. A bit of an idea of where it might be. That piece of coral was officially dead. Cactus. Like the Norwegian blue parrot. Finished. Gone to meet its maker. It was assumed that the coral was going to die. Right. But what we saw was a picture of a branching acropora that had bleached white. Right. Do they really think that I'm going to be able to find this one coral photographed 18 months ago? I'm not going to be able to find that coral if it is dead. Peter Ridd, great to, <laughs> good to see you, mate. Right? Good to see you. Long yeah. time, mate. Right. Long time to see you. How you been? This is very well, thank good, you. This good. is Saxon. Saxon. Marine physicist Peter Ridd has worked on the Great Barrier Reef since 1984. We've spoken so often on telly, it's great to be here. We are now at the Great Barrier Reef. We're going to go looking for that bleached coral. We're yeah, going, we're, we're going to see dead bodies everywhere, death and destruction. Let's do it. Let's go <laughs> for it. Welcome to John Brewer Reef. Right on the northern end of John Brewer Reef. So can you pick the bleaching from above? With a, a flyover, they have been able to see the lighter colours of some of the reefs. Just how much uh, detail they can see, I'm not convinced that they get a really good impression of it. You really have to get in the water to get a colour comparison to see what is really happening underwater. So Stuart, you're a sure. marine biologist? Yes. And you've been to John Brewer Reef before? Yeah, I've been here a couple of times before over the last few years. We're filming the same track sex and looking at some of the corals uh, that have uh, bleached in the past and looking at what type of regeneration if that's occurred. Stuart tells me that he has filmed the same sections of coral at this reef for the last three years, providing a record of the changes in coral colour and coral coverage. We'll then head across towards the main reef wall, which is over here, yep. having a look at the different corals, different colours, yep. if there's any mortality from last uh, bleaching. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I think they're expecting me to jump in and find that coral. <sighs> Good luck with that. We did actually invite Jordan Shanks from Friendly Geordies to come out here and he originally said he would come but then he, he pulled out. So it's a bit of a shame that people who claim that the reef is in such terrible shape, when you actually invite them to see that it's actually in good state, shape, they won't turn up. But at least Rowan's out there, he'll come back with an interesting report.
It's supposed to be dead. Now to say that the Great Barrier Reef is dead, I would say to anyone who's thinking of coming to the Great Barrier Reef, come to John Brewer Reef. It is teeming with life. It is beautiful. The fish, the beautiful coral swimming all around us. It was extraordinary. And clownfish. I saw you looking yes. at some clownfish. You saw some They're clownfish. They were looking at me. The clownfish were looking at me going, what on earth is that looking, ridiculous looking creature? <laughs> so we swam along the wall there, past the boy, and sure enough, we found what looked, well, to all intents and purposes, it looked exactly like that famous photo in the Guardian newspaper of the bleached coral. Yeah. Uh, we saw this coral, we came around, looked at it from all the angles, and it certainly looked like it to me. Okay, sure, there's plenty of fish in the sea and plenty of coral in the sea, but this looked like the real thing. John Brewer's most famous bit of coral, and it wasn't bleached white. This is the coral watch coral health chart yeah what color do you think it was okay well i just i described it in my head it was cafe latte as it has been explained to me there are two coral colonies one on top of each other there's a lighter colored branching colony on top of a darker brown flat what they call plate coral colony when the branches bleached they went white they have their colour back now. They are about an E3 on the colour chart. When Paul holds the colour chart against the bottom coral, I can see it's a D5 colour. I'm calling this multi-layered structure my Café Latte Coral Colony. Some tiny speckles of white, which I presume is the bleaching. So if you look at the Coral Watch Coral Health Chart information, it says that the growing tips are naturally white. Okay. So, so you don't white. take so them into bleached. consideration. Okay. That was not Good. bleached. That's just That's it, so. the growing tips yep. that are white. So what you look at is the coral yep. below the growing tip yep. and you'd say E2, E3. Absolutely. Even with a hint of the darker colours coming through underneath. So it's alive. It's, it's alive growing. And well. It's looking good. I want to see it splashed on the front page of the Guardian. If only I had a Guardian photographer with me. So that coral, it was bleached 18 months ago. That's when the photograph was taken. Yeah. It was bleached then. Now it is in this sort of colour zone. So what does that tell you, Jen? It tells me that the corals can recover, that they can kick out the zooxanthellae, and then they can take it back. The corals are changing their colour all the time out at these reefs. This reef 18 months ago, there was actually a lot of pink coral. So that famous coral, it had kicked out its um, zooxanthellae and it had gone completely white. But there were corals that had kicked out the zooxanthellae and you could see the pink pigment, the natural fluorescing protein underneath was showing through and they were, they were like popping hot pink. So the coral was actually much more colorful 18 months ago when people had this idea it was all white. Fantastic. John Brewer Reef was part of the Marine Park Authority Aerial Survey undertaken in March to April of 2022. Bleaching was reported as severe at John Brewer Reef and according to the map, 61 to 90 percent of this reef was bleached. <laughs> the official surveys are undertaken by plane or helicopter at 150 metres in the air. The legal drone limit is 120 metres. In April 2022, when the coral was more colourful, Stuart filmed Jen at different altitudes above John Brewer Reef. At 5, at 10, at 20, at 40 and at 120 metres. She's just a tiny speck when viewed from 120 metres. The conditions today are quite different from April 2022. There's more glare, the surface is choppier, the tide is higher. The difference between conditions back then and now show just how hard it would be to get consistent imagery and coral health data from the air, even from a low altitude. Back in March 2022, the surveys concluded that 60% of John Brewer Reef out here was bleached. And yet those surveys were done from 150 metres in the air, aerial photography. So tell us what you're doing, Stu. I'm shooting from different heights, looking at uh, the coral health and uh, coral cover. It's very difficult to tell from, uh, from that 120 metre mark, I can tell you right now. You get a bit of an idea what the shape of the reef is, but you can't see any individual coral colonies. 
If it's a really large plate coral, you might see it bleach, but it's only on the reef crest. You can't actually see down much deeper than two metres in the water. Well, once you get to 120 metres there, look at Jen. She's just a speck, a dot down there. Imagine trying to figure out what the coral is actually looking like. But it's only once you get down lower you really see the health of the reef to really gauge it properly. And once, of course, you get into the water, it's a whole different story altogether. According to the underwater surveys done by the Institute of Marine Sciences, coral cover is officially just 23%. Peter told me how impressed he was with the good coral cover that was much more than 23% where he snorkeled. Three hours out there, three hours back, I'm knackered, I've got to tell you, swimming around the Great Barrier Reef. You took us out right to John Brewer Reef, which was uh, only 18 months ago, we were told uh, this was the epicenter of the mass bleachings. We found the very bit of coral that had been photographed as an example of mass bleaching. It looked pretty alive and kicking to me. Uh, with bleaching, doesn't mean it's all gonna go white, doesn't mean it's all gonna go dead. Mass bleaching means it's happened over a wide area, not, um, not necessarily um, severe bleaching, but widespread. So out there we've got a lot of good live coral, um, as you saw today, it's in a very healthy state at the moment. It was great to see that a lot of the corals that we'd seen bleached and fluorescent, you know, 18 months ago, had all brought their algae back inside them. There were a couple of plates up, on the, up in the shallows that obviously died, but I saw lots of parrotfish feeding on them as well, you know, and they were even, you can see some footage of them spawning as well. So the ecosystem's looking very good as far as uh, the fish goes as well, because you've got lots of recruits of very small um, butterfly fish. And butterfly fish mean, usually mean that the, the coral is reasonably healthy as well because that's what they feed on the, uh, the, uh, the little polyps. So it's good to see lots of butterfly fish and parrot fish. It means that the ecosystem, the plumbing is working and it's business as usual on the Great Barrier Reef. And this was thriving, this was amazing. The color of the fish, the sea life, all around us swimming amongst it, it was sensational. I loved it. And we actually managed to find that bit of coral that had been identified as an example of mass bleaching, the epicenter of the mass bleaching. We found it, we swam to it. I called it cafe latte color. That's the, you told me about the zooxanthellae, which is the symbiotic algae, which brings the life back to the coral. That's what we saw, that's what we swam amongst. I loved it out there. I thought I was gonna see dead bleached coral and we found the most beautiful reef, John Brewer Reef, fantastic. Get out to the Great Barrier Reef, go there, Get this man, Paul, to take you out to John Brewer Reef. See for yourself. Instead of studies done from 150 meters up in the air, go there, go down under the water, look at the reef yourself. It is alive and thriving. It is beautiful. Paul, thanks so much, mate. Thank really you. loved it. Thanks for coming Great out with us oh, today. Loved it. I'll be back. Perfect. I'll see you on next time. Thank you. <laughs> More Zuzanthalae. Can't get enough of it. <laughs>